but it is more matting. Matting, matting, is matting a word? Wait, mat, mat, why can't I say mattifying? It is more mattifying. Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video. We are testing out the brand new Jaclyn Cosmetics Concealer. I also have some other fun Jaclyn Cosmetics products to try. The Morphe Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette. We're just gonna have some fun, get ready together. If you're new here, I'm Christy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell. Join our beautiful Glam Fam. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and we'd love for you to become part of our glamorous life community. That's right, you guys, I have brand new merch. I announced it last week and I am so excited you guys. So check out my merch store. It's called Glamorous Life Collections. I have some fun stuff in there. Let me know if you are interested in any of those products or if you decided to purchase anything. Say hello. I love hearing from you guys. Please comment below and please give this video a huge thumbs up when you hit the like button and when you comment below. It really does help my videos out. And when I'm not on YouTube, be sure to follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, Christy Allure and on our Glamorous Life Collections Instagram and TikTok accounts as well on my blog, christyallure.com. And without further ado, let's get started. KVD Good Apple Foundation in Medium 33. That's the one I use. I love this stuff. I don't talk about it a whole lot. I did a video. You can check that out on my first impressions, but I had a different shade in that one, but the Medium 33 is a perfect shade. I do find that I like this with my beauty blender the most, So, or my sponge. I should say this is the Dose of Colors sponge. But do you see the finish of this? It's so beautiful. The reason why I'm using this is because I am going to pick up the new KVD Good Apple concealer that's coming out. I think it releases February 1st at Sephora and kvdbeauty.com. So I wanted to pull out the foundation again. And I'm just bringing it down with the KVD foundation brush, which it also applies really beautifully with as well. It is really, beautiful it just looks so hydrated you guys know i just did the charlotte tilbury you can check that out this is probably still my number one foundation just because it's everyday type wear but i love this for that full coverage effect it held up really good in a humid climate i wore this on a vacation in a very humid place and it was beautiful so it helped it holds up really nice no matter what climate you are especially if you're in a dry climate like here in california you know it really holds up nicely all right, let's get into this concealer. So Jaclyn Hill did release the foundation, which is more like a, I wouldn't say it's a foundation. I think it's more like a, almost like Hollywood Flawless Filter, I would say from Charlotte Tilbury. That's the impression it gave me, but it is available in 12 shades. So you can check that out on her website as well as Ulta, which I would recommend going to Ulta for these products because just in case they don't work out for you, it's easier to return. The Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint runs $34 and I'll show the shades that they have right there on her website. Yes, there's not a lot of shades, but it's not, I don't think it's meant to really be a foundation. It's probably meant to be more of like a primer and a base than an actual like foundation. So they're probably gonna stretch pretty wide. So I didn't purchase that because it does have a scent and I was a little afraid that I was gonna make me break out and I was just really more concerned about the concealer. Maybe down the road, I'll pick that up as well. I did pick up three different shades, but the third one is still not here. It was out of stock for a while. So it's taking a long time. I think there's just a lot of issues with weather and all that. And I did 
didn't want to procrastinate this video. So I have light medium yellow on the way, but today we're going to use light yellow. And I also have light medium neutral, which was way too pink. So I'll show you the swatches of what I have right there. So I will include it because probably by the time I edit this video, I'll get the light medium in. So I'll include that swatch as well. But I really do feel like as of right now, I can't tell you what light medium yellow is going to look like. Light yellow was a better shade match for me. So we're going to stick to that one. Then the light medium neutral was just too pink for my taste and had a little bit too pink of an undertone for my taste. Now grant you, if you have really dark circles that might want to be the way to go because that's going to cancel out the darkness. I don't. I'm just literally just using it as concealer. So for me, I just prefer more of a yellow undertone when it comes to my concealer, but that's just my preference. This concealer is $26, 6.7 mils, 0.23 ounces. It's about $3.89 per mil. So a little on the higher side per mil, but we're still looking under $30. We're still looking at a $26 price point. So sometimes that's easier for people to afford forward up front, you know, like when some of the companies come out with a little bit bigger price point. For example, the Pat McGrath Sublime Foundation. This foundation runs like $67, but there's more than one ounce in there. There's more than an average foundation. So, you know, you're paying a little bit more up front. So it just, it's all in how you look at it. If this is a really good concealer, then $26 is worth it to me. You know, it's all relative though. So again, we're gonna go with light yellow. Let's try this out. This is a nice doe foot applicator. I'll show the up close shots right there when I received the product, but it is a very nice shaped doe foot applicator. You're probably wondering, does that really even matter? Not really, it's all preference. So we're just gonna go one side at a time because when I swatched to this, it dried down really fast, which tells me this is not one you wanna leave sitting on your face or putting all over your face and then blending in. I would, this is just at a, I always do this anyway when I do first impressions, just because I don't know, I don't know how the concealer is. Okay, Mira, work with me. All right, so we'll go right here. And we're just gonna do a little bit at first and then we can build it. I know, a little bit is my, my little bit, as I always state. You guys, I have been loving this new e.l.f. brush. I'll go over that in just a second, but before this dries down, I wanna just kind of put this in. This is the new e.l.f. putty bronzer brush, $4. So this is really beautiful. I haven't tried this on my eyes yet, and I am liking it. And I think this is kind of formula that might be good on the eyelids for a more natural look. I've been saying that I like to stay away from concealer and foundation on my eyelids because I do feel like my eyeshadow lasts longer through the day. Really pretty, but as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see in this camera, I'll try to get up really, really close, but it's not necessarily blending out this has been blending out my concealers beautifully. So I think I'm gonna have to take a sponge on this one and really try to get that in there. It was kind of like sitting on top of my skin. It wasn't necessarily melting into the skin. So that's the only thing I can say. Okay, this is definitely one you wanna use with a sponge. I do feel like it melted into the skin a little bit better. So I still see some darkness. The sponge pulled away some of the products. So I still see a little bit of darkness right here. I don't know, I have a little bit of darkness going on today. I don't usually, I'm just gonna do a little dab. A little dab will do you, it's very full coverage. So you don't need a ton of this. Now let's go back in with this e.l.f. brush and see if we can, yeah, see that's just not blending it. Not, not doing the job. Let's try my Milk Cosmetics and Sephora one that I love. And see if that yeah that blends it in much better okay so cheap brushes are cheap brushes they are what they are but that is a really good brush you guys it is and it worked with my other more emollient products so i can keep that in mind it's not meant to be a concealer brush but i did really like it with the anastasia one the other day but still i still believe that this sponge might be a better option yeah, see the sponge just really deposits the color in there. All right, let's try the other eye with my Stands Out Beauty sponge. Get a little bit more this time. 
I do think this is a good color, actually. The light medium might be a little too dark. All right, let's go in with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I just cleaned it. Never tried this damp. Yeah, that's too damp right now. I gotta wait till that dries. But that was a good way to do it. I don't think I have another one around here right now. Yeah, it's just not like melting into my skin. Like the One Size Beauty one and the Anastasia one, they just, it's just so easy to do it. This one's a little bit more, maybe a little bit more mattifying than those other two, and that might be why too, that my eye, my eyelids are not, they're just too uh, dry under there, so maybe for someone who has more oily skin, this might be a better product, but I just feel like I'm fussing a lot with it, so it's kind of frustrating me. But it is good, so don't get me wrong. Let's try doing like spot concealing with this and see how that works. It might be a little too light for me though. I have a little guy coming in here. My skin was doing so good. Ooh, it's covering up my, my spots really nicely. So this might be a good one to put underneath my powders, you know, like when I'm just doing spot concealing. I seriously think for people who have oily skin, this is gonna be really, really good, normal to oily skin. I think if you have dry skin, this might not be a product or you get dry under your eyes. This might not be something you, you would be interested in, but yeah, it's just sitting right here. It's not, I can see it and my eyes are not even that good. Like I, there's this little area that's breaking up and it might be my foundation too. It might just be sometimes some foundations and some concealers just don't go together. You guys know I love Jaclyn products. So for me, I'm like, oh my God, I want this to be amazing. I really do. It's not horrendous. And I do like the way it covered this area up a lot. That is beautiful. And I like there's no, there's no, yeah, there's no scent to it. I mean, yeah, just like a normal one that doesn't have scent in it. So let's try to build this up right here and see if I can get those little areas covered up. I forgot to do this part. I'm not gonna be able to do a wear test today, so I'll just pin a comment and let you guys know how it works on my skin. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. I'm not loving it. I'm not hating it, I'm not loving it. So, I don't know. To be determined on this one. It's not one of those ones where I'm like, oh my God, this is the best thing since spice bread. But sometimes, you know, like I say, I don't really want to do too much criticizing because a month down the road, I, in my monthly faves and fails, I can say I absolutely love it. So, I'm gonna give this a little bit of time. It won't be in my current favorites. So, I'd like to give it a little bit more time before I say anything, so I'm gonna put the Rare Beauty bronzer on. I actually use it more as a contour, this color especially. I'm gonna add in a little bit of the Persona Cosmetics one in Sahara. It's a little bit deeper, just right here. This is my other favorite one, just to give it a little bit more structure. I do feel like the Persona ones have a little bit more pigment, so if you're like one of these people where you're like, uh, that's too, like some people don't like it so emollient, so. I do like that about the Persona one is that it's, it's kind of that happy medium. All right, you guys, so I jumped off camera and redid everything because I just was not happy with the way everything was turning out. And I really want to give this concealer a fair shot because I don't think it's fair to judge it based on it not mixing well with another foundation. So is that a criteria for me in my new system I'm doing? Yes, but it now looks beautiful. And I used it with my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation along with my Milk Gripping Primer. And I know those two products are golden for me. And it worked out beautifully. And now I really like this concealer. Is it my number one concealer? No, Anastasia still lies in that number one spot. One Size Beauty still lies in the number two spot, but this will kind of, it will, it will be up there because I do think it is beautiful. I think it's, you know, it just depends. It depends on what look you're going for, but it really is pretty. I wouldn't go any darker than that though. I think the light yellow is perfect actually. So very happy with that. We're gonna try out this Jaclyn Hill uh, Times Morphe palette. I just never got around to it last year, so. I really do like the palette. Is it, again, my favorite palette? No, but is it a good palette for the price point? Absolutely. I also want to try this out on camera for the first time. I just have swatched it. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics 
winter sun and it has the royal icing highlight with the snow bunny highlighter and i'm sorry i think this is royal icing the avalanche is in the middle so it's really beautiful so we're going to try this out well it looks beautiful i don't know if it's beautiful we will use her bronzer i have it somewhere around here many hours later a hundred years later I found it. All right, so this is the sun-kissed bronzed moment. I have a video on this. You guys can check that out, but we'll just quickly do it. Uh, you can see how the blush applies, but we'll just do the bronzer, doing it onto my Chikahoto PS2, my favorite bronzer brush. It's such a beautiful bronzer. I just have too many bronzers. I never use this one, but it's so pretty though, right? Very natural easy to blend. I was really impressed with these last year. Really impressed. Okay, so we'll do that. I want to give myself a little bit of radiance. I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, Laura Mercier one on as well. We'll take it onto my Hakahoto brush. This one's really pretty too. Just a little bit of radiance there. So pretty, right? This is another beautiful bronzer. This is Bronze 04 in Laura Mercier. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's go in with these gorgeous neutral. If you're a neutral lover, you're going to love these shades. So we're gonna go in with Good Vibes. Actually, let's go in with uh, Just Barely First. It's just like a bare, like, like really, literally just barely there, what it's saying. We're just gonna put that on here. And I used her concealer as my base. We'll test that out as well. I really think it's actually gonna be a beautiful base because it had a nice self-setting kind of moment. You don't really need to use a lot of powder with that concealer either. That's one thing to note. Pretty, just a very natural color on my skin tone. It literally is just barely there, but it serves as a perfect transition shade. Perfect transition shade. All right, let's go in with Sonia G, and this is the Crease 2. I'm gonna take out my, I love this um, Sigma Switcher, is my, oh, you guys, I don't know what I ever did without this thing. I used it all last year. I don't know if I talked a lot about it on my channel, but it's perfect, it just really cleans off the brushes. All right, we're gonna take uh, that Good Vibes now. Put that onto there. One thing I have to say is Morphe comes out with fantastic affordable mattes. I like their mattes better than ColourPop. I like the metallics better with ColourPop. So, interesting, right? All right, we're just gonna take that right there. Just do an easy look here. Nothing too, too difficult. These mattes are so flipping incredible for the price point going back to that just barely and just kind of going over the edges so that we don't have any demarcation lines. I think we're gonna take this more of a taupe look today. So we're gonna kind of stick to those colors right there. So I'm gonna take like this dark, like mahogany brown. It's so beautiful. This is called cinnamon roll. Oh my God, you guys. I, fun note about myself, I love cinnamon rolls. Like love cinnamon rolls. Like love cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I love anything with cinnamon. I am obsessed with cinnamon. Fun fact about cinnamon too, if you don't know this, most of you probably already know this, but it actually speeds up your metabolism and it helps you break down sugars. Not that cinnamon rolls are good for you because there's tons of carbs and everything else, sugar and everything, but cinnamon by itself, just the spice, is a really fantastic way to actually burn fat faster. I need a little bit stiffer of a brush. So I'm gonna go in with this Sigma, uh, E42, same color, cinnamon roll. Yeah, somehow like this, the Sonia G was just a little too fluffy for putting this pigment down. Very pretty color though, right? Oh, I like that color. It's funny, I actually like the mattes better in this $18 palette than I liked in the Patrick Ta 60 something dollar, $68 palette. I think these mattes are far better. And you guys know how much I love Patrick Tala. It has nothing to do with him. I just, for the price point, like much better. Not even for the price point, it's just much better in general. That's just my opinion. My eyes. A lot of people love that palette, so. Don't get me wrong, it's not. It's just, everyone has different taste. 
just going back into the Sonia G mini booster just to kind of go over those edges. So cinnamon roll once again, that deep dark brown. We're gonna place that right there. It just allows me to get into it since I have smaller eyes. It allows me to get in there. I haven't done a halo in so long. Wow, that's really pretty. All right, now we're gonna take the Sony G Mini Booster, clean that off, make sure it's nice and clean, and we're just gonna kinda of start blending the edges in here. Don't worry, it's all gonna to come together. Trust the process. All right, now I'm gonna clean this Sigma E42 off, make sure we have that nice and dusted off. And we're gonna go into Booked right here, kind of a reddish brown. It's pretty, really pretty actually. If you're new to my channel, I used to rave about the original Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. It was one of my most beloved palettes ever, ever. It's just so pretty. So I'm already a big fan. I never got the second one though. I only got the first one. Mix that in with the cinnamon roll. Going back into cinnamon roll, just to deepen that out a little bit more. Just connecting the dots now. Cleaning off the brush, going over the edges. I'm gonna take this BK Beauty 207. If you have hooded eyes, try to place more of the pigment right here, like right there, so when you open your eyes, it makes your eyes pop, appear to be bigger. So I'm taking a little bit of cinnamon roll and deepening that out a little bit with this brush, and then we'll blend out the edges later. Now we're gonna go back in with that first, or the second color we used, which is Good Vibes, on back onto that Sonia G crease brush, and just go over that area. Going back into the first color just to do any line erasing. I'm actually gonna go in with my Hakuhodo brush. It's a smaller one and do the same thing with that bronzer and just really buff out the edges now. Do you guys see how that just really diffuses everything out? Any bronzer you have will do that. Ooh, ooh, that is such a beautiful color. That cinnamon roll is one of the best chocolate browns I have ever worked with. Wow, and this is an $18 palette. This is a fantastic palette, you guys. All right, we're gonna take this last color right here, Exposed, so pretty. That is beautiful. Do it on our finger first, and we're just gonna kind of place that right there. Actually, let's just go through the middle. So I I just find that their, their metallics are not that amazing. The only, only thing. We are gonna play with the, these little frozen things that she has too. So we'll we'll do that in a second. But let's spray the brush first. So we'll use my Morphe Continuous Spray. Make sure we spray it real good. Nice and wet. My lips are feeling really dry. One thing I love of Jacqueline is her lip oils. They're so good. Not one thing, I love a lot of her stuff. Her highlighter is my holy grail highlighter. All right. It's so good. This is like one of the best lip oils ever. Uh, this highlighter, Sparks, is my number one highlighter of all time. It's the number one highlighter. It's fantastic. All right, um, going back to that brush, nice and wet. We're gonna take that onto this rougher uh, number 21, which is a lot like the MAC ones. All right, let's try this. I haven't played with all these colors yet. I've only played with a few. Okay, that color's not my favorite. It's pretty, but it's not, not my favorite. I love the mattes in this though. Yeah, see how it's just not really So let's go into, let's try this out. This is this is Tinsel. I'll show the up close shots and the swatches of the two I have, but this is my favorite, the Tinsel one. It's not as amazing as the Hourglass ones, but it's pretty good. It just wasn't as opaque as I had hoped. Yes, that's better though. But added some pizzazz. All right, I have to fill that in though. So I am gonna go into, 
uh, this, I'm gonna talk about this in my favorites video next week, but this is my ultimate favorite palette right now. This is from Busy Art. Anastasia A18 brush, and we're gonna take a similar color, this like taupe color, so we can kind of stay into, before I lay down a little bit more of that sparkle. Oh my gosh, yeah, see the difference in the metallics though, yikes. That is a huge difference, you guys. But this is an $80 palette in the Jaclyn, uh, yeah, the Morphe one's only $80. But for us, I mean, grant you for young girls, I'm sure they can get away with it, but with mature eyes, it's just more challenging. But do I think the palette is worth it for 18 bucks? Yes, because those mattes are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And most of the time I always carry around this or even my Pat McGrath metallics. So, oh, that is such a gorgeous, gorgeous satin color. And we're gonna lighten it up a little bit more Hopefully this will be okay with this. This is the Tinsel from Jacqueline. Just put that down in the center. It looks pretty over that busy art color. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. All right, I like that. That looks good. These are actually really good. All right, let's go back in to the Jacqueline palette. Uh, I don't really see anything in there that I want for the uh, inner corner. So we're gonna go into her highlighter and blush palette from this is, I think this was like her holiday collection. And we're probably gonna use that one right there. It's such a beautiful highlight color. Actually, let's try this right here. Ooh, 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 that's pretty. Okay, I like that, I like that. Oops, 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 we wanna mess that up though. I'm gonna take this, this is Sigma brush. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, let's try that on here. Ooh, ooh, I like that. It kind of brightened up that middle area. Yes. That is why she is the queen of highlight. Oh, you guys, that's spectacular. All right, let's do this. Uh, new gel liner from Sephora. I used this in the video last week and I think it'll be pretty. This is brown. This is uh, like a chocolate brown. I'll put the color right there as I always do. Not worried about it being messy because we're gonna clean up with shadow. We're gonna go back in to cinnamon roll. Always by putting shadow on top of your liner, you're just making it so that it stays all day and it doesn't start smearing all over the place. So I'm gonna eventually blend that into the other area. Again, I'm gonna clean up, so I don't really worry about it being too messy. Going back into the Jaclyn bronzer and just diffusing that out even more. All right, you guys, so I popped on my Amy June lashes. You guys know I love my Amy Junes. Haven't worn them in a while, but they just never do me wrong, and they're so comfortable. I do want to mention, just because that's why I'm bringing up lashes, is I'm trying out this duo. I have been trying it out. I didn't want to talk about it until I knew I really, really liked it. And this is the new, it's brand new. It's the Line It Lashes. You can actually use this, it's duo glue, so we all know it's good. Uh, it stays really well, but it's a really fine tip. You can actually line your lashes. I don't like to do that when I'm doing a look like this, but when I'm doing a very natural look, I like to do it that way. It actually makes the lashes go on a lot easier. What I like is because it's so precise, the tip, it doesn't get all over the place. So the problem with a lot of people that have issues with lashes is they put too much glue. So it's that fine line. You don't want to put too much, you don't want to put too less. So, or you want enough on there. But this is just places it on perfect and it doesn't aggravate my eyes. A lot of the other duo ones were starting to do that and this one doesn't for some reason. So I don't know, I really like it. I love the kiss with aloe vera in it that one's really good too another really fast i want to talk about is this hourglass eyeliner oh my gosh i picked this up over the holidays and this is their micro tip 1.5 millimeter black liner this is amazing 
Oh my gosh, that tip right there is so precise. Getting underneath my lashes, underneath this lash line right here is really difficult. You guys know I love, I rave about the Makeup Forever one, but the tip on this is so much, I messed up this liner because I tried to sharpen it. <laughs> totally messed it up but that's okay anyway that one is really good where it doesn't transfer but this one doesn't transfer and the tip is even better much better it doesn't go all over the place it doesn't go on my lower lash line it is beautiful I used the Kylie cosmetics and this is like their light light pink or nude or whatever but it's just the perfect nude for me underneath my eye beautiful so love 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 those were the two things that i really wanted to bring up so we're going to use this palette like i said i'll show you the swatches and up close shots again so beautiful we're going to stick to avalanche and it looks like it's royal icing is the is the blush so it looks like it's has some type of glow to it the blush but i don't know we're about to find out. It looks really beautiful though. So I'm gonna take it onto this It Cosmetics brush. Ooh, that's very pigmented. It doesn't look like it's going to be like that colorful in this lighting, but wow. Ooh, I love this palette. I think it was on sale at Ulta too. I'll have the links below as you guys already know, my affiliate links. I really appreciate when you guys utilize my links if you decide to purchase any of these products. You can get the Morphe palette and all of her products at Ulta. And you can use the 350 off coupon on this so it takes it down from, you know, $18 to what, like 15 or whatever the case is. That is a gorgeous blush. Holy guacamole, I love this blush. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is beautiful. That is by far my favorite thing out of this whole look. All right, let's go in with this highlighter and check in this out. We'll use my Wayne Goss airbrush. We're gonna go into that middle color. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Ooh, do not sleep on this palette. Oh, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Wow, that is so Stunning. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's go over this and just kind of break everything down from the Jaclyn Cosmetics things that we tried. So we'll start off with the concealer. It's holding up pretty good. It's not really creasing or anything. And this is 40, almost 44 year old skin here. So, wow, okay, so this is, a. This will stay in the in the rotation. I don't know, it's not, again, not my top, but it's gonna stay in the rotation because I do really like it. As far as the eyeshadow palette goes, I really, really love this palette. It is really good for the price point. I'm gonna focus on the mattes because that's the colors I liked the most. I'll still play with these other metallics, but I liked my Viseart one better. I'll keep playing with it and it's not a bad price point. I mean, $18, $350 off really good. This is by far my favorite part of this entire review is this Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Cosmetics Winter Sun Palette. I hope, I think this is limited edition, but oh my gosh, please Jaclyn keep this as a staple because that is one of the most beautiful blushes. That perfect tone for light medium skin tones and probably light skin, fair skin would wear it's just so beautiful. It looks like it's not gonna be that intense. And then when you put it on, you're like, whoa, there's some pigment there. And that highlighter, hello girl. Oh my gosh, you guys already know, like I mentioned earlier in the video, the sparks is oof, oof, just ultimate. As far as these little pots go, I could pass on it to be quite honest. It's, it's pretty, but it's just not my favorite. You know, I just, there's too many of the hourglass ones and the Victoria Beckham ones that I really love. And I'm just being 100% honest, I love the Valentino one. If you're on a budget and you're like, I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup, Christy, but I want that kind of pot, then I think it's a good one to go to. But for someone like me that's willing to spend a little bit more money, I would prefer the hourglass ones to be quite honest. That's just being 100% honest. So let's rate that good old concealer. I'm gonna give the concealer right now at first impressions, three out of five stars. 
I like it, you guys. I mean, I don't hate it, let's put it that way, but I know it's not five out of five stars like I did with the Charlotte Tilbury. That was a tough one, you guys. That came out of this year. It was like, bam, that is one of the best foundations for mature skin. So check out that video if you haven't already. And if you're new here and you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, you guys. I appreciate the love and support. It was so good to come back. And remember, I have my brand new merch now. It's called Glamorous Life. So if you're new here, be sure to check out my merch. It's underneath the description and it will go straight to my shirts, my t-shirts, my little makeup bags. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you decide to purchase any of that. Of course, it all goes to supporting my channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click that post notification bell. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And please give this video a huge thumbs up, you guys, when you hit the like button and when you comment below, it really does help YouTube show that there's interest in my videos and it pushes it up through the algorithm. So I greatly appreciate it when you hit the thumbs up button and when you comment below, even if you just say hi, you don't have a lot to say, it's okay, just say hi, leave an emoji, whatever it is, it really does help support my channel. So thank you, thank you so much. When you utilize my links, as always, I really do appreciate it. That all does help me continue growing and being able to produce more videos and more products to review. So thank you so much for doing that. I love you guys so much. When I'm not on YouTube, be sure to follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, Christy Allure, on my website, ChristyAllure.com, and on my other website now, Glamorous Life Collections.com. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Cause I can do